This Tuesday, February seventh, twenty twenty-three, Joe Biden, the President of the United States, made a yearly address, annual yearly address. In his speech, he mentioned China、uh, a few times, and he mentioned Xi Jinping's name seven times. Under the background, Chinese spy balloon invaded America, and now the story still going on. This story showed communist China's threat to the U.S. is greater or much greater than the Russia's. So Xi Jinping is more dangerous than Putin, as、uh, Pompeo, the former State Secretary, said in his book. In、uh, Biden's speech,、uh, he had two points. I had to make、uh, comments. He said.、Uh, A few years ago,、uh, China was like look strong or going up.、Uh, U.S. seems falling, but now not anymore. He said, "The United States now in the strongest position in decades to compete with, compete with China." So, they, for this, they have some misunderstanding. Think maybe it it seemed like. Seems like、uh, after Biden get to office, so U.S. get stronger and the Republic of China, Communist China, get weaker. Actually,、uh, the United States is strong and、uh, all the time strong. Biden administration keep it strong, or could be do better to make it stronger. But China get weaken or fall. It's not because of U.S. get stronger. It's because of Xi Jinping. Xi Jinping made China fall or get weaken, weakened. Xi Jinping use one decade, ten years, two terms to focus on power power struggle. He has low interest to develop economy or relationship, or he has no interest to care for. Common Chinese people's life, even though he can use as a slogan for the people, serve for the people. That's a slogan since the Mao's era. But he has more interest in his power, so he is successful in his power struggle. He get his third term and removed any reformist、uh, person or people politician from the office from Zhong Nanhai, like Li Keqiang. Wang Yang and Hu Chunhua. He even ordered、uh, the security guy, seems like kidnapped former President Hu Jintao and、uh, come, uh, escorted him out of the People's Hall on the 20th CCP Congress. So, as power struggle, Xi Jinping seemed successful. However, for China's economy, people's life, it's a mess. It's a disaster. So Xi Jinping made China fall and made China weaken. This must make it clear. So like Putin, Xi Jinping is as as Putin. When a dictator is stronger, the country is weakened. The country fall and fail. Xi Jinping did the same thing as Putin. He is stronger. He is a strong man as a dictator. Then the country get weakened. The country is falling. Putin. Before he shouted, twenty years ago, he said, "Give me twenty years, I will make Russia stronger." But give him twenty-two years, Russia going down all the time, from economy to foreign relationship to people's life. Finally, he brought Russia into a war. Get into war, mud cannot get out of him. Failed. The whole country failed. Now Xi Jinping in office, he made China. Fail, so he repeat Putin's way. So for for some extent, Xi Jinping is in power is a disaster for Chinese people. However, it's maybe a luck for the civilized world, for American, for Europe, European Europe, and for the, all the civilized world, because he weakened China. Now no one, no experts or economists think China will surpass the U.S. The newly 
published Australia report even said in the whole century, 21st century, China cannot pass the U.S. But before, before Xi Jinping get into office, or the early time he get into office, there are many comments, many uh, saying said China will surpass the U.S. is at least in GDP. But the law is gone. China's pros prosperity is gone. Xi Jinping focus on power and also use the stupid COVID zero tolerance policy. Uh, you know, block the country, lock the country, lock city, even made the engine of the country, of the economy, Shanghai, broken, financially broken. So this is Xi Jinping's contribution to China, to Chinese people. So because of his in power, China fall and weakened and it U.S. standing in strong position. This is lucky for U.S., but I think the United States can do better, can be more stronger. And uh, Biden administration keep it strong and did a good job to enhance the allies with other countries, European, Japan, India, Korea, and Australia, and many other countries, and Taiwan. So that's a good job, but he has to do more to make U.S. stronger. Another point, in uh, Biden's speech, he said, he suddenly said, maybe not in his uh, 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 writing paper, he just uh, suddenly said some words out of his uh, speech. He said, name me anyone, any world leaders who would replace with the, the, the who would change places with Xi Jinping. Name me one, he said. He's, that means no other country's leader want to change their position or places with Xi Jinping. For my understanding, what he meant was Xi Jinping was in a dangerous position or faced a troubled country. He faced a lot of risk there. But I think some people want to change places with Xi Jinping, at least the two. One is Kim Jong-un, the dictator of North Korea. He want to change if he had the chance. Why? Because he uh, slaved uh, 24 million people, but that's not, maybe not enough for him. If he turned to be China's leader, he can slave 1 billion people. So he will be satisfied for his uh, dictatorship and slavery. So another person, Putin, would like to change places with Xi Jinping. Point one, he prefer, he would rather Xi Jinping in the war mud, in the war, you know, trap, not him. Point two, same thing. He uh, ruled uh, about uh, 100, uh, 140 million people. But if he go to China, he can slave one billion people, and also he can enjoy a more comfortable life. So for this reason, maybe Putin also want to would like to change places with Xi Jinping. So say so name me, I can name some. Uh, Biden said, name me who can, who would like to change places with Xi Jinping. My answer is, there are some people, at least Kim Jong Un and Putin. Thank you for watching. I see you next time.